Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CCT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and another lesson. Um, I'm excited about this one. I think this is a great one, and it's also out of my book, um, Tango, Relax, and Ponder. And you don't have to have the book to do it, so you can do it on any kind of paper. I'm just going to add to these tangles that are in here. This is my inspiration. Sometimes I can't think of what to draw. And so when I pick this book up, it helps me. I instantly have an idea of what I can draw. And then sometimes I, my mind starts going and I pick up quite a few other things that, um, you know, I, I do other things with it. So I'm going to be using an 01, Micron 01 pen. And we're going to, this little tangle right here, this loopy loop one, is what goes around. And um, we're not going to draw that one. We're going to draw just some of the others to, that go with this um, that are on here. And maybe add uh, a couple of others. I, I may add a grid tangle up in here. I, I've been kind of toying with one. So we'll see if how it comes around. This is a four rosy that I've added in here. So we're going to start by adding the four rosy because it's a it gets its name because it was done in a four corner. But I just singled it out and just did one and it's a great little tangle you can just add somewhere in a little squished in a little spot. Um, but it can be um, so we're just going to do it as I'll show you how the four rosies done, and then it, it's done on a. Um, let's see. I think I'll do it right up here. It's done on a. Um, and I already okay messed it up a little bit, but an L shape. But there's no mistake in Zentangles, so it won't matter. So we just drew that little L shape, and then we're going to put in this shape. I should come in closer so you can see it. I drew this little line first, and that's really not what you put down first. And then we put this um, leaf shape in here. And I really do like to, to kind of put, rotate my tile or my book so that it's going in a direction that's comfortable for me to draw. And now we're going to just aura and come down in. I, I don't know what you really call this. I was listening to Maria call it something and Molly called it something else. But I just call it a little step down aura. And you, when I get to the to that line I've drawn, I incorporate it in. So we're going to do it again on this end. So we just start here and I come down and we just kind of step down, aura that shape, and on the end we want to just take right down that, that line we drew. So here we go again. right down that line. So I'm going to come over here and do it again. It's kind of hard to draw on the edge of your book, I think. Sometimes I have to open it up. If you're, if you're using your book, open it up so that it's flat against so you're not drawing on an edge otherwise it's it's kind of hard to draw if you are having to draw on um, on a edge of the book where it's you know piles of paper so there we have the the all the little 
um, step downs. And now we can come in here and we can do several different things. I am going to stripe this this time. Over here I did a little bit different. But I'm just going to stripe. This gives us a little bit more drama. And I like drama in my tangles. Fill that in. Maybe give this a little tail. It looks kind of like a bee, but it's head down in a flower. <laughs> I'm a beekeeper, so that's I a lot of times think that. I'm going to stripe this off again. And you can see how it really gets some drama in it. And I like to make those curves, those stripes, rounded. It gives it a little dimension. But you can do them straight. You could do them on a diagonal. And there we have four rosy. And we'll do, we'll do a little bit of shading on that in just a minute. In a little bit. Let's turn this around and I'm going to scan back out. Now you're see, you see this and you think, that is that the same as that? So I'm just going to draw it here um, without, just by itself. So I could make my, my V to give me, or my right angle, to give me something to go by, but you don't see it when we're done. Then we're going to do our leaf in the center, then we're going to start with our petals that come back and hook into that. I'm going to draw my um, some of my little um, crescent moons in there and then to make this one like this one I am going to put a line up the center and then I'm going to aura and you can see how it is looks completely different than this one and um, and I'm going to put some of my little orbs right there or you can also just completely do it freehand. So start with your petal and work your way all the way down. I had to look to see what that was and that's part of the, the eye and loving. I didn't, I don't want to draw into that. So you can draw um, and then you can aura this and then draw your line up through the center and voila you have another four rosy just different ways than you that you can do four rosy in here and it's fun to just add it just going anywhere I'm just going to keep adding several of those this is my favorite way to do it because I love freehand. And then I can make it fit anywhere I want it to. I can make it smaller or larger. I think sometimes it's great to be go larger. I've read a couple of blogs lately that say go big or go home. <laughs> not really sure if I understand what that means but if for me it means draw bigger but you can see how fun that is to draw and easily easy to draw an easy one and to combine these to make everything fit together we can just add more crescent moons or you can add your you know another tangle but also orbs are a great they're great to combine tangles and you don't always have to do small orbs 
or even, you know, you can, and I just make some orbs on there. And this is a really fun tangle to do and easy and easy, easy to shade. So you can shade this. Keep picking up that pencil that doesn't. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of shading across the top of here and along the bottom. And then I'm going to take my shading stump and just blend. You can just really have fun with the shading on this one. You, there's no rules, ever no rules in shading. So enjoy for Rosie the four different ways that you can do it and tangle every day and have a good one.